Hello everyone, my name is Alexa and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial and first thoughts on the Ulta Beauty Epcot set. So for this I am using my regular makeup products except for the eyeshadow and the lip gloss which come in the set so let's get right into the tutorial all right so we're going to begin by putting on my little makeup headband um oh actually let me just that. <laughs> you all forget i get to do this blind i'm gonna go ahead and put on my avino clear complexion moisturizer Okay, now that is all rubbed in. If you saw me making weird faces, that's because I got hair in my mouth and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. So now we're going to move on to foundation. So I'm going to use my Mary Kay Liquid Foundation CC Cream. You all know I don't know what shade this is. And I just apply it using Beauty Blender. So we're going to use my matching Disney Beauty Blenders that I got from Ulta. So since we're doing the Epcot, uh, tutorial today. I'm going to use the LOL. And my phone is flipped the other way, so I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna use the uh, matching Epcot Little Beauty Blender. We're just going to dampen this first a little bit. Nothing crazy, it's just so that it's like slightly moist. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my foundation and I like to apply it straight on the beauty blender and then blend it in but you can apply it straight on your face too if that's what works for you. Okay so here is one coat of foundation. I usually do prefer the more coverage when I'm doing um, uh, something with eyeshadow. Usually day to day I only go with one, but uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing. Okay, now that's going to be enough uh, foundation for me. This is what works for me. Uh, you do whatever works for you. So now I'm going to take my Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer. I believe this is in the shade Ivory. And now I'm just going to blend that in as well. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and take my Mary Kay Sheer Mineral Press Powder in the shade Ivory, and I'm going to just use a fluffy brush. Okay, that's pretty much my face. Everything should be looking pretty even. So now we're going to move into doing my eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just going to take a clean eyeshadow brush and I'm going to start with the middle shade, which is going to go on my, the middle of my eyelid. And I decided to go with this one, which is called World Celebration. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take that same shade and go underneath my lash line. Okay, so there's the middle 
single shade done. Now we're going to move on to the end shade, which I'm going to use uh, this silvery shimmer, which is called Club Cool. There we go. I am going a little bit more dramatic than what I usually would because I feel like I'm going for kind of a robot sort of inspired thing and Epcot's very futuristic so I want to do my makeup a little differently than I probably normally would. So now I'm going to do a pop of purple in the inner corners so I'm going to use the shimmer purple shade Harmonious. Okay, there's the purple all done. I will say while I was doing that, the purple like is totally like crumbling everywhere. Um, and so I kind of had to improvise. I was gonna do just a little bit of purple, but this I decided to have a mind of its own. And I say we go with it and stop trying to fix it. So I made the purple a little bit bigger than I was going to. I'm gonna take this shimmer white called Stardust and I'm going to go all the way up to uh, my brow bone with the white. gonna be it for a white I really wanted it to be dramatic and big and once again like my palette is so disgusting now these uh, are a little bit powdery and you really have to pack them on they're not super pigmented which I feel like is good for like everyday sort of things um but for this particular look I did want them to have that pop of color so now I'm just going to take a larger eyeshadow brush and I'm going to blend everything together. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. I use Maybelline Hyper Easy in the shade Pitch Black. Okay, here's my eyeliner. Um, I made an impulsive decision to do the bottom line too. I usually just do the top, but I feel like it's more um alien, which I wasn't going for alien. I said robot, but I do feel like it's more robotic. Like my eyes look weird, um, and I wanted them to look really big and wide, so um. There's that impulsive decision. Uh, now we'll move on to mascara. I use Maybelline Sky High. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows um, in the CoverGirl, CoverGirl, CoverGirl Perfect Blend thing. Now I'm 
going to go ahead and do my um, contouring. I'm taking my Elf Contour Palette and I'm going to take the darkest shade, go on my cheekbone. under my chin. I'm using a little more than I usually would because I want my face to look very um, angular and like sharp um, to get the alien robot thing. I'm going to take the second lighter shade and just go up by my temples. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my blush. I use the e.l.f. Uh, multi stick. Now I'll take my highlighter, go on top of that, and on the tip of my nose. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the um, lip gloss from the palette. This is in the shade Figment, and it's like a purple shimmer, so I'll go ahead and put that on. put this over my purple lipstick but um I just want to show you what it looks like on its own for this. Right now I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like my eyes pop too much. Uh so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some small little dots to look like stars hopefully. Okay I did just think of this little like dots where I would do probably like a wing um and I think that's looking better maybe it's worse I feel like my problem is that the bottom is too dark so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some of that white stardust and go that's going to be it for my Epcot <laughs> tutorial. So overall thoughts. That one was very powdery. The colors aren't super pigmented, but it works, you know. Um, the lip gloss isn't really doing much, I feel like. My lashes look like they have nothing on them. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and until next time goodbye and have an alexa day